yard in uh, Connecticut and yeah. and uh, telling you about things I was going to do. Yes. And uh, they have transpired, and there I, you go. I think at that time, McVeigh was in diapers, right? The Rams coach? Like, Might uh, he was like a Tampa Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, He's a little kid. All right, we do this every Friday throughout the year. Where uh, he, you know, he started in the newspaper business, and I, you know, when I was starting out, I wanted to be a sports writer, right? Like, and you know, made so, a smart pivot there. There, there we go. So it's good. <laughs> J Max Journal Monday's headlines today. So Super Bowl, who wins? I think the headline. On Monday will be golf and running. I like the Rams in this game, Colin, as we were talking before the show. Vegas needs the Rams badly. 78% of the bets are on the Patriots. When that happens, you know what the house needs, the Rams. I like the Rams to win a close game. Low scoring, I also like the under. But I think the big story Monday is going to be, what, what do we have here? With these Rams. You got a 24 year old quarterback. I know you're big on golf. Yeah. You got a great young coach in McVeigh. You've got elite players at running back on a rookie deal in Gurley and a defensive tackle in Aaron Donald. Is that not the makings of a potential dynasty? Young stars, young coach in the NFC, there's nobody better than them right now. The Saints are kind of trending downward, right? Drew Brees near the end. Yeah. I think Monday people are going to be talking about Jared Goff and the potential for great things I, with I th the LA I think Rams. One of the things that's interesting is uh, Goff, according to the people that I know that know him and the family, he has the makeup where he doesn't, you know, his dad was a major league baseball player. They've done well for themselves. He's not a guy that needs to be paid $35 million. Right. Bucks. He's not. He would take he would take a reasonable contract if it allowed him to keep both Cooper Cup and Robert Woods and a good tight end. So uh, golf and running. All right. How about this Super Bowl? New England. What's the headline yes. for them? Monday's headlines today. Uh, Boston fans have been getting on my case all week about this because they know what's coming. I believe Monday the headline will be the biggest losers. And now when I say this, uh, Colin Cowherd. Just know if the Patriots lose this Super Bowl, they will now have six Super Bowl losses as a franchise, most in NFL history. Oh. Tom Brady will be five and four. He will have tied for the most Super Bowl losses as a quarterback with Jim Kelly, four losses. Belichick will now tie for the most Super Bowl losses. Any way you look at it, New England Patriots lose here. I think people start looking at just how dominant were these guys. We know they've been very good for a while. But think back to the Pittsburgh Steelers 70s dynasty, okay? Yeah. Terry Bradshaw lose any Super Bowls? Nope. How about Montana's 49ers? He lose any? Nope. Aikman. Remember uh, Troy Aikman and the Cowboys? Troy Aikman, uh, Fox announcer. They lose any Super Bowls? Those guys were all undefeated during their run. I think people will start to just wonder, man, they kind of let down in the big game a little more than we thought. Well, I think Brady lost to Peyton Manning uh, in the last couple of AFC championships in Denver. Yeah, yeah no, that's a, that's a, that's I mean, I don't want to go too in-depth here, but when you look at how they lost or how they won that game against the Seahawks, Seattle on the one-yard line, that goes the other way. Uh, you know, the biggest comeback ever against the Falcons. They could be looking at a four-game losing streak in the Super Bowl. I mean, they got thumped by the Eagles last year. That was bad. All right. Uh, Monday's headline, Super Bowl, does Gronk retire? Yeah. Well, you know, if you look at Vegas, this line has come off some sports books. They've, uh, there's been so much buzz about Gronk right now. I believe Monday's headline will be Gronked Out. He's only 29 years old, but if you listen closely to his quotes this week on yeah, Radio Row, yeah. this is a beaten man. He was in college. He struggled with injuries. Yeah, it, it's it's just, uh, listen, he's going to go down as one of the greatest. He's in the discussion with Shannon Sharp, Tony Gonzalez. Kellen Winslow. One of the greatest all time. But the guy's 29. He's physically beat up. Now, he is coming off a tremendous game against the Chiefs. He did. Uh, he was very good blocking against the Chargers. But if you're Gronkowski, Colin, you've got options. You go to the WWE, you mess around in movies. Like, he can make that pivot the same way Ronda Rousey has as well. There's options for Gronkowski. Why come back for another year, get beaten up? You know, the injuries are taking their toll. And then you start to ask about Tom Brady. He's going to look around that locker room. Man, Gronk is leaving. Who do I have for the who, – who's coming with me? Josh McDaniels and Bill Belichick. And that's really it. Brady looks back, and I think – and I know he said, hey, man, a zero chance I retire. But, Colin, just – did he do that maybe to kind of throw people off the scent so they weren't going to be asking him about it all week? Nobody's asked Brady about retirement. I think when Gronk hangs him up, Brady's now going to have about seven months to really think, should I come back?
Well, it should be noted, Gronk will be out. Um, Edelman's got a couple years left, but they, they're they going to have 12 draft picks. The team will have a very young makeup next year. It's going to be one of the younger teams. Now, they will have some veteran defensive guys, McCourty, Stephon Gilmore, Dante yeah. Hightower. But the offensive line, I mean, it's it's interesting. I don't know if they keep Chris Hogan forever. Gronk will be gone. Sony Michelle's... This could become a much younger offense. Yeah, we forget how close they were to not getting that home game in the playoffs. Remember, this is a team, folks. Uh, this is why I'm picking the Rams. I just think the people are too much on how good the Patriots have been the last two weeks, crushing the Chargers, beating the Chiefs. I just think the reality is the body of work for the season for the Patriots was just not great. Brady was very good, but not amazing. All right, uh, NBA trade deadline in Los Angeles. Monday's headlines today. Yeah. So we've got the Rams winning the Super Bowl and the headline Monday in L.A. L.A. lands Anthony Davis. Oh, also wins the Super Bowl. <laughs> this Anthony Davis stuff, I, I know we talked about it a little before the show. It's starting to pick up. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of smoke around Kyrie Irving right now. So you know all of a sudden Kyrie Irving is starting to backtrack on whether he's staying in yeah, Boston. Very interesting. Now, I know people are saying, oh, Kyrie and Anthony Davis in Boston. Mm, I don't think so. Kyrie Irving, I'm telling this is on authority from players around the league. And, uh, uh, Kyrie Irving has texted players in the league and been like, hey, what, what do you think in this offseason? You thinking about teaming up? And it's not just the guys you would think like Kevin Durant. Lower guys on teams that have space for a max contract. And, uh, Kyrie Irving is a different dude. Did you see what he did over the summer? Where he like joined an American Indian uh, tribe, went back with his heritage. He's definitely different. I don't think yeah. people can just read. He wants to stay in no, Boston. No, no, he's a he's a just a different cat. Uh, he, he he has his own way of seeing the world. And I the one thing about Kyrie, he told people years ago. He's like, I'm not in it. I'm not going to be Kobe. I'm not playing 20 years. Yeah. He just signed on for his second movie. Yeah, I mean, I mean, even, he's not even 30 years old No, yet. I mean, listen, if you go look at Shaq's career, Shaq was in it for about 10 years, and then Shaq got paychecks, but yeah. he, wasn't as, he wasn't as aspirational or driven. He moved into a Hollywood thing near yeah. the end. Now, when you see the stuff with Kyrie happening, you wonder, okay, Anthony Davis, if you're the Pelicans... I think the trade talks are going to ramp up this weekend, Todd. I, I, I'm just absolutely shocked that people don't think Anthony Davis is headed to L.A. By the way, um, Anthony Davis, uh, is the sound's not great, but Anthony Davis basically said today, it's interesting, um, that it's my time. I've given the franchise six years. Now, Charles Barkley went nuts last night. That was so stupid. I mean, I, I like Barkley. He's fun. Do you know he forced his way out of Philadelphia? I know. Forced his way to the Rockets? Like, get over yourself, Barkley. Let's Come let's on. hear here's the sound from Barkley last night. Adam Silver need to block that trade. Uh, Why? Uh, I, I don't like what the Lakers are doing. I don't think it's right. I don't what think what the Lakers are doing? Yes, I don't think what, what did they do? We're collusion. Like, and you know it's collusion. Let me tell you something. Rich Paul got mad at me because I said a month ago, oh, the fix is in. Elton Davis going to the Lakers. He didn't like me saying the fix was in. The fix has been in. I don't. I, I think Commissioner Stern, he did, who I like a lot, he to come out and says, "Hey, we can trade Elton Davis, but he cannot go to the Lakers. Uh, we <laughs> cannot have players and agents colluding to stack, to, to, to stack super teams." For the record, uh, for anybody who's over fifty years old, David. Falk and Arn Arn Tellum ran this league for 25 yeah. years. They called David Falk the invisible hand of union <laughs> negotiations, and he was a big uh, the the lockout. He had great influence. He was Michael Jordan's guy, yeah. and Jordan was so powerful that when Michael left the NBA, the ratings left. 45 percent of the ratings just disappeared. Can you imagine how good things would be for the NBA if Anthony Davis and LeBron were in the playoffs together? In the Western Conference? Oh, no. That's must-see TV. Of course. Listen, That's another reason I think it's going to happen. Barkley's way off base. I would say the perfect scenario for the NBA is Durant and Kyrie Irving go, go to New York. That's happening. The Celtics yeah. ha still have a good team. They'll still have a good team. The Celtics will be another number two seed. Anthony Davis goes to the Lakers. The Warriors are still very good with Steph, Clay, Draymond, but they don't have Durant. Yeah, I and know. now the Lakers Warriors for about a three year run is a back and forth. And Houston, by the way, has Harden and Chris Paul. They'll be fine. They have a good coach and a good GM. And you'd have what the NBA has always been an extremely top heavy, yeah. talented it's six always teams. Been like that. Knicks Lakers finals. Can you imagine something insane like that next year? I, you know, I, Kevin Durant against LeBron again. 
Ben in the finals with Anthony Davis, Kyrie Irving, Zion Williamson? Think about this. If, let's say, the Rams win, and let's say the Lakers land Anthony Davis, and you were the L.A. Times, and you could only put <laughs> one of those stories on the cover, oh. what would be the story? Joy, he's, he's going it's, there. I think it's 55-45 Rams. I mean, I think you have to come with a combination of it. Yeah. Like uh, this LA, is a, who would get the, L.A. center of sports universe. Yeah. You, it breaks right down the middle. Uh, Anthony Davis on one side I mean, and the, the Rams Lakers on the other. I mean, the Lakers right now are the more popular yeah. franchise. In fact, the Kansas City-New England game got double the number of the Rams Saints. So, no question, the Lakers are a bigger story in Los Angeles, but I think you'd have to say Super Bowl yeah. and then right underneath. I was at the Lakers Sixers game talking to an LA Times reporter, and she told me that the top stories on their website, the LA Times this week, were Lakers, Anthony Davis, Rams were like third or fourth. And the Rams are in the Super Bowl. It's a Lakers town, Colin. Well, we know that. And I mean, people love the Rams. It's not a slight. We're talking about LeBron, Magic, well, Anthony Davis. Listen, it, I've, I've said this for years. Starbucks started in 1971. It didn't really flourish until 1985, and I wasn't drinking it until the mid-90s. <laughs> Businesses take a long... Amazon was selling books for a decade. That's, yeah. It takes a long time to get people out of habits, and this has been a Dodgers in the summer... USC in the winter, Lakers and the Kings for a long time. Yeah. It's hard to make people change from Saturday football to Sunday. Even as big as the NFL is, people in this town have gone to the Rose Bowl or the Coliseum yeah. for years and had Sundays off. Now you got to convince them to what happens if USC football gets good again? They're, well, they're going to be good again, right? We would agree on that. They got some players. Well, no, USC will be good when they they got to make some changes. Y yeah, I know. Hell, uh, what about UCLA? Chip Kelly? Well, we'll they got a year or two away. All right, Greg Jennings, right and wrong, uh, coming up on Monday. Speak for yourself is around the corner. Car shopping can be confusing. Dealer price, list price, invoice shows you what other people paid for the car you want. Go to TrueCar.com and check out their True Price. Three grand can be saved off MSRP.